The Magnificent Seven. So what are the Magnificent Seven stocks that I'm talking about? Well, these stocks are the biggest companies in the world. And most of them are in the technology space. And we all know who they are. Alphabet, formerly known as Google, Amazon, Apple, Meta, formerly known as Facebook, Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Tesla. Tesla may not be a tech stock for some, maybe more of a car company, but they also do a lot of and have a lot of technology in their products. So what's going on right now? And why are people concerned about the Magnificent Seven? Well, over the last, over the past six months or the first six months of this year, it is are these companies that have taken the index, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, powered these indices to high, high returns. The NASDAQ is up almost 30% year to date. The S&P 500 up about 14% year to date. And this is on the back of these seven stocks. And we have probably the best chart that I have for this show up front here, talking about how the Magnificent Seven has led this market significantly higher. And you know this, this chart pretty much says it all, right? You have Meta, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Tesla, NVIDIA coming up with 53% of the market's returns. Take a look at the S&P 500. The rest of the S&P 500, 493 companies, they're up basically just slightly. You know, I would say maybe one or 2%. It shows here a bit of a flat line. The S&P 500, when we took this chart, was only up 11. It's actually up a few percent higher today. But overall, you can clearly see that the markets are moving higher on the back of these seven stocks. Now, is this healthy? I've been asked on TV and radio, is this a healthy market if it's pretty much moving because of seven stocks? I guess the answer is no. You want to see a broader base. You want to see more stocks participating, more sectors participating in the growth. However, my comment to that then is, how often do you see all sectors moving higher? We get it sometimes where 495 stocks on the S&P 500 are moving higher, or sometimes we get 495 stocks moving down on the S&P 500 out, out of 500 names. So sometimes we get uh, a broad base move, but for the most part, the move has been, at least for the last many years now, based on the largest companies, the big tech names, the trillion dollar club, as I like to call it, the Microsofts, the Apples, the NVIDIAs now just hit a trillion dollar market cap. And these are the names that are powering us forward. A lot of it has to do with artificial intelligence. And we are seeing this with respect to tech names incorporating artificial intelligence in their, uh, in their press conferences and in their business models and what they're saying. So no, it's not a healthy economy when we're just dependent on maybe seven or maybe even eight or 10 names to power us forward. I know some people are calling it the elite eight because they're counting actually Netflix in there. Uh, I like to keep it the Magnificent Seven. I think it sounds even better that way. But overall, no, it's not healthy. But I think instead of being afraid or being concerned, I think you want to own some of these names. And I've said this for years now. I think every investor, if you're looking for growth and can handle the volatility, should own a couple of these names to help power your portfolio forward, especially if you're looking for growth. So instead of complaining or being upset of the way the market is behaving, a lot of savvy investors have been talking about it. I think you want to own some of these names. Don't be afraid to own an Amazon or a Microsoft or a Meta. You know, Embrace what's going on and use it to your advantage because this Magnificent Seven could be with us for quite some time. We've seen it over many years leading into this year. And now you know, with the AI push, we could see these names powering the markets for many years to come.